Uh, thank you, Doug. Crikey, God, if you'd uh, told me that 20 years ago when I started my shirt business that all I had to do was sell a shirt, I uh, wouldn't be here now. Crikey, God. I knew there was something wrong when I started. It was that I had to sell shirts. Uh, but that's what I do. There's a little picture up here showing what I do. Um, for all of you uh, who haven't heard of Charles Tirrett, uh, Charles Tirrett sells shirts, really. Shirts, ties, cufflinks, suits and shoes. So a little bit more beside. Um, I'm gonna, just going to give you a little bit of the history of Charles Tirrett. Um, I started it when I was at university. Uh, and uh, it took me a while to uh, double my workforce, which was extremely exciting. It took me four years, actually. Uh, I went from one to two. So that was, uh, that was a very big day, and I was extremely pleased. And uh, we worked like hell for four years, and then we went bust, uh, which was actually it was really annoying. Uh, that was eight years of my life uh, we went bust. And we went bust because we lost focus, and I want to come on to that later. Uh, but we came, you know, we, we, we got on with it, me and Pete, and we built the business up, slowly built it up. And we built it up to, we did 53 million pound sales last year. Uh, and you can see the various facts and figures there. And I think the one thing you're probably all thinking now, and the one thing that you will go away with today, is that uh, you're gonna think, my God, if this guy can do that, then I can. <laughs> uh, this is the story about how a complete and utter idiot can build up a business. Uh, there are six big things to focus on. You can read them for yourself, and I just want to cover them all very quickly. But the first one is the idea. Now, I want, you to, take, I want to take you back to 1986, uh, when I started my business. Now, this is not Mike, the guy who was a bit fat, selling the machines to make you a little bit thinner. This is Mike the Hare. Mike the Hare, as you see at the bottom, was tall and slim. He was born after me. So in this race between the hare and the tortoise, I had an extra month, so I had a head start. Both married four children, we both started business university, he started with $1,000, I started with £1,000. So we're actually very, very similar, except he's a hare and I'm a tortoise. We all know what happened in the story, uh, the tortoise wins. But the hare's got a head start. Now what we have here is a slide. <laughs> on the, this is actually a graph, there are two bars on this graph. Um, I know it looks, there's a little thing on the right, it looks like there's a steamroller that's sort of gone over me. I'm, I'm the one with the little graph. Uh, that sales of 53 million pounds. Actually, in fact, this is completely misrepresented because the, the scale on the left is actually in dollars and my, my little graph there, that's in pounds. <laughs> so you have to multiply it by 1.6, 1. Uh, 1. 1. I think. So I think that's the sort of the interesting thing. Why did I do shirts? Now you're probably all thinking you've all either started businesses, thinking of starting businesses, and you're thinking about your idea. And I think I did shirts because I wasn't smart enough to think of mobile phones or computers. Um, I did shirts because I was buying shoes from India at the time. All I wanted was my own business. I just wanted to do my own business. And I was buying shoes from India. Indian phone lines in the late 80s weren't, well probably are quite similar to Indian phone lines now. Um, <laughs> What I did is I, they were handmade, made to measure. I'd been to India when I left school. I had a pair of uh, shoes made. They were absolutely fantastic. Buy them for 10 pounds, sell them for 50. So I traced around people's feet and I had an order for 50 pairs of shoes, faxed them off to India and the box arrived and this was the beginning of my uh, Dell Corporation. The problem is the shoes went in size nine and came out the other, size, uh, the other side, either sort of like this or like this. <laughs> So I got this, I opened the box, and it was literally, I mean, it was, it was, it was shoes for pixies and clowns, but, <laughs> but nothing in between. So I thought, I'm never going to do shoes. What can I do instead? And I just did shirts. Now, the other thing, and cash, cash is always important. And I think people always say to me, when you're starting a business, the biggest problem is getting that initial cash. And the thing I say to everybody when they ask me, which is actually not very helpful, is to buy an old car. I had a great aunt who died, left me 8,000 pounds which was extremely, I was extremely upset uh, that she died uh, and extremely happy that she left me £8,000. And I went to my bank manager, which wouldn't happen now, she might with HSBC, and I said, look, I, I want to buy this old car because I need some money to start my business and I reckon there's a classic car boom going on. And he lent me 17000 A year later, I sold the car for 100000 I had my £75,000 to start the business, hopped on a plane, bought £75,000 worth of shirts, 
this is not very good, not very good for the cash flow. Actually, I hadn't really thought about this, but I had this container load of shirts, got it back, and then just could do nothing with them. I didn't have a penny. And in that first year, I lost £100,000, which is pretty good on £75,000 sales. I lost the whole lot. Pretty stupid. But anyway, I always believed it would work, and I think that's the really important thing. You have to have belief. And I had my vision. I wrote this about 20 years ago. And uh, I don't know, you, probably, you, you can read it for yourselves, but it's all about having a belief in what you want to do and sticking to it and believing that you will get there. Every single day of your life, you believe you will get there. And the great thing is, if you're a tortoise like me, you will. You just keep on going. And I think, uh, you know, the last paragraph there, we will continue to grow and to change. This was actually when it was just me. This was the royal we. We will continue to grow and to change. We will continue to learn and to improve. It will be fun. It will be hard work, but it will be rewarding. The journey has just begun. This was a little tortoise setting off, and nothing has changed today.